Welcome back to Autumn with everybody. We have plenty to get on with. Plenty to get on with. First thing we're going to do, up that time to five, and then we'll up it to 15 a bit later. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get Baldrick into his. Lower it? Since when did I have to lower it? That's a bit weird. Have I got to put them down? I didn't have to put them down last time. Weird. So yeah, we're, we're going to put Baldrick into the Optum with the uh, drill on. The Cedar as the game calls it um, and then we're going to set him off putting our oats in we're going to um, put the uh, if I can I think I can put the narrows on to the maxim and we're going to do some fertilizer spreading well that's weird isn't it that's not right at all well, it, can stay, it can stay weird and not right so that is what we're going to do um, we'll get Baldrick set off if he hasn't finished then we'll finish it off for him once we've done the fertilizer but that's what I want to get done so I want the drill which is just there just trying to get my bearings I've done the cows so they're all done for today so we haven't even got to look at them So we'll fill him up so that it's sorted. Nice and seed. Nice. Put your lid down, that's it. And we'll take him up. And like I said, we're going to put maize in this one. It's a bigger field than what the other maize field was. But I'm okay with that because we can sell it if we don't use it all. And probably what I'm going to do is when that's ready to come off, or just about ready to come off, whatever maize we have got in the silo or in the clam, we'll sell. And then we'll bring in a new lot. And we'll do it like that. And we'll... Uh, Try and work it a bit sensibly, um, money makingly. So yeah, that is that is our plan. The maze can go in in the next episode, so we're not going to do that in this episode. But we do need to get the oats in now. So what shall I? Let's start him off in the bigger one, and then if we get finished before him, then um, we can do the little one ourselves, can't we?
sure if it's a 3.1. It's usually pretty good for working it out, but that doesn't seem right. Garage. Sulky. Three meter. Yeah, that's what I thought. Three meter. Automatic starting direction. Yeah, headland around. Headland passes. We'll go three because it's three meters. Give them a bit of Start working on headed passes, headed corners, smooth. Yes, generate. Excellent. And off ye goes, good farmer. Have fun, Baldrick. So we got the maxim. Not the Maxim, the Puma. Maxim. Better get a Maxim, then we've got well, a Maxim and a Vestrum, and then we'll have the whole shebang. I suppose we better get a Magnum as well. Right. <laughs> right. Customize. I am so confident that we can put the narrows. Yes. Customize. Yes. Excellent, and that will eliminate our issue that we had last time with the grass. Because if you remember, it um, it put tire tracks in the grass and squashed the grass down, which I was not best pleased about. We also need to put some fertilizer on our big field of soybeans. There's nothing on there. That field is weird. That field is weird. I'm not 100% confident I'm happy with that field, if I'm absolutely honest. Can I load without using the loader? Why, yes, I can. How convenient. But will it be enough? No. Let me get on that last one. Nice one. 87% well we'll we'll use it and if we use it all up then we'll just have to go and buy some more won't we that's it in a nutshell so we'll get cracking with this blimey I forgot I forgot how wide the spread was on it. To be fair, I'm going right to the edge and I don't need to because it doesn't matter on the bits that aren't the field. So I hope everybody's been having a wonderful week so far. I have I've been working exceedingly hard. How rude, I thought. Did any of you see my dirt rally video? If you did, what did you think? If you didn't, go and watch it. <laughs> oh, it was a nuts rally that was. That was a nuts rally. Absolutely insane. But I won it. And I was happy. So there. Um, yeah, so we've we've got our soybeans in that field. That definitely needs fertilizer on it. It's uh, the field is weird. It's showing that it's not got anything on it at all. And I know 
that it should have. So I'm very confused as to what's going on with that field because if you remember it's also the one that decided to um, delete our crop that was in there which I thought was quite rude but not the end of the world and then we've got to do our alfalfa don't worry I'm not going to do it all like this I'll do, I'll do it time lapse so far it's actually going quite I can't see the tyre tracks on that run where are they I don't know let's do it and if it overlaps it overlaps doesn't it and if it doesn't, it doesn't. I can see them now. Typical. So I did have a video planned to come out for tomorrow, but I haven't finished it. And I don't want to rush it because I want it to be as good as I can get it if that makes any sense I don't want to put out a rushed job of something and it's it's required an awful lot of research uh, and stuff like that and it's gonna re it's requiring an awful lot of video footwork footage and stuff like that and I just don't want it to be rushed and be half a job. I want it to be not a work of art because it's not it's not necessarily about making pieces of art. I just want it to be right. So you're gonna have to wait another week for it, is what I'm getting at. But I'm sure you, I'm sure you will, because you don't even know what it's about yet. <laughs> I'm just teasing all the way along. It's to get you going. Basically, all it is is just a little video about um, how to paint the tractors. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Uh, but I'm, I'm not giving anything away. So uh, I'm going to time lapse now. Um, getting the alpha alpha done we'll see how much fur we've got left after doing that and then we'll see whether we're going to do the soybeans we might have to go and get some more so i'll play some beautiful music for you right now. neither of them are taking it so I'm gonna to have to wait for them to go into their first cycle of um, 
growth before we can put anything on there, which is, which is a pain. That's weird though, because that's not showing anything. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's really concerning me, if, I, if I'm absolutely honest, because I don't want a bad yield off of it. It's just not, it's just not showing anything for fertilizer or anything like that, which is really, really weird. But we're gonna, we'll drop this off. Actually, we don't need to drop it off, do we? Or do we? Yeah, let's drop it off. take a drive up to the castle while Baldrick is doing that big field and we can have a look at what we've got. It's throwing me a bit of a curveball those, uh, those soybean fields if I'm brutally honest. There's not a lot I can do about it. I think if if that field doesn't show any type of fertilization when we actually get the first state of growth when we try it again I think we'll get our crop off of it whatever comes off of it and then we'll we'll move it on by a different field and try something else I don't know, I don't know it's just weird isn't it So how do we get into this castle? Looks like it's through here. I like castles. My favourite castle is Corfe Castle. Down near Swanage. In, uh, if you're not in the UK, it is in the UK. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, what we got down here? A little shed and a house by the looks of it. It's a nice little bridge. Nasty bumpy bit. So I wonder who made that castle then? Did Oxygen David make it? Or is it a third party that made it? Does anybody actually know? Oh, and you can't go in there. How rude is that? So it's got, it's really got no purpose. It's just aesthetically pleasing. You can't get in it. You can't go up to the turrets, which would be awesome if you could. But you can't. But it does look good. Some wet stuff down there. Usually you would um, go exploring and find something. But we're not going to do that. Because we're here for farming. I just noticed the windmill over there. Well, we shan't do that today. We're going to have a look at this little yard here and see what the deal is. So this is a derelict cottage by the looks of it, with a shed. Nope, disappointed, there's no graffiti, and there would be. <laughs> oh, what we got? SDIS 76. 
I have no idea what that means. I'm sure somebody does do. Means nothing to me. Some nice big fields in this area though. Lovely. So, let's head back. Let's take over from Baldrick, wherever he is, I guess. Unless I can think of anything else that we need to do. Gonna need to do weeding. Nice bumpy track here, let's take this one. It's not as bumpy as I was expecting it to be. That's a disappointment. What else can we do on our farm? Sell some milk? No, we don't want to sell it. No, let's just go and take over from Baldrick. Save ourselves some money then. Although my money's not going down. Maybe he's doing free work. Or, that, or actually, no. I think it. I think it does it every hour. I think it deducts every hour. Of course, by thinking about it. Let's see. You've heard there then. He is doing an exceptionally good job. I'm not sure I want to bother him actually. Well, let's put the maze in instead then. That's what we'll do. We'll rent, we'll rent a planter. So, I have installed three, well four technically, but they're both the same mod, they just got different skins. The Varda stat Tempo F8, the Meridia 200, the PL 5015, and the Easy Riser by Case. That one's by New Holland. Um, this is the cheapest, and I think it's the most sensible. And then the other one is the Vardastat, and I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, fond of Vardastat equipment. This all folds out. These spin around, so they go either side. To make it six meter it's a really nice compact piece of machinery and it looks really good it's really well modeled and i like it but it's not the cheapest the meridia is for rental at two six so i think we'll rent that lease and um, we want some seed. How much seed does it take? Two, two, fifty. A bag of seed. Oh no, two bags of seed then. too much then uh, we can always use it another time so here we are I've put the wide wheels back on because it just seems sensible let's take a quick look at it it's actually a lot bigger than it appears when when you look at it in the shop it doesn't actually look like it would be that big 
Did the pipes attach or not? Do they attach? Yes, they do. So we'll fill her up with the core. And we're going to fill it up with the fertilizer. Nope. There we go. Then we want to fold. No. Does it not fold? It certainly looks like it should fold, does it not? Maybe it doesn't then. That's strange, isn't it? Those. Certainly look like it should pivot on that. Obviously, I'm wrong. And I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Well, this is going to be fun then, isn't it? I should have had the case then, shouldn't I? Let me just try it. No, 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 no. Definitely not folding. Well. Yeah, this is definitely going to be fun. <laughs> I think I will spare you the catastrophe. Oh no, you got some. You got some. You got some catastrophe. So, as I've been coming down this road, uh, basically they they can deliver so that they go with the contours of the ground. That's what those pivoting areas are. But, uh, yeah, it hasn't been the most pleasant experience and it's going to get really bad now. These cars are such idiots. I'm going to have to turn traffic off. Don't beep at me. How rude and inconsiderate is that? You are very rude. You're a typical... A typical... That's all I'm going to say. You're a typical... Anyway after having to negotiate all that rubbish should have gone with the Vada stat um, you know that this is not going to fit through the gate don't you I just know it it's not going to fit through the gate we've got to try though we've got to try at least but it's I, oh it might do it might do. It might, if we can get this right. <laughs> I know somebody sat at home looking at that thinking, ooh. I don't care. I did it. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, <laughs> uh, lower. Turn on. And plant. So, to be fair, this shouldn't actually take us that long to do. Um, 
and we're putting the corn in and it's getting the fertilizer and it should be tip top and it should be a grand job I had plans for this episode to go go quite swimmingly and it uh, hasn't done what I expected it to do at all. I see Baldrick over there. He's still at it. I should get him on the radio and ask him what he's doing, how long he's going to be. I don't think he will know. <laughs> So we'll get this headland done and I'll just time lapse the rest I think will be our best option. So we could be here for a while. I do like uh, a lot of these new textures and things that that uh, Oxy has put in for us. Always makes a game an absolute pleasure when you've got nice comfortable surroundings around you and it feels real or as real as it possibly could be so we'll uh, we'll jump into a time lapse of lapseness uh, and we'll get this done So there we go, that is all finished, and we're going to take this back to our yard and unload the seed so that we've got it in stock. Uh, and I'm going to apologise right now because I know what's going to have to happen. Right, that got it out of there. 
Jesus, man. I mean, really. Right. Completely and utterly. Messed it up. Oh dear. Right, let's. I'm going to try it because I don't want to, even though I'm going for a hedge to do it anyway, I don't want to drive through hedges. That wasn't too bad actually. Right, so let's unload that seed because we do not need you any more. Baldrick, how are you doing? Baldrick's doing good. Let's finish it off for him. So there's only a little bit left to do. This Optum has got the power to do it. We have the power. I think this is an absolutely awesome truck. gives us the straw that we need for the cows, obviously. Let's go down this way. But uh, oats generally tends generally tends tends to be the more profitable of the of the cereal crops. And as we have to do a cereal crop to get the straw, then you know, we don't care about the, the cereal itself, we just want whoever we get the most money for at the end of the day. Although you, you would, you could argue really that uh, even though you get more for oats, you probably get less of a yield off of oats um, and a better yield from wheat or possibly barley, although barley's a kind of in-between, I think. Um, the barley tends to be a lot shorter, if I'm thinking correctly. If I'm getting that right in my mind, barley tends to be shorter. It looks longer because it's got the whiskers, but it's actually shorter, and wheat is longer so you get more straw, or technically you should get more straw. I'm trying to get really scientific here for you and, and give you a bit of insight and I'm probably screwing it all up, to be honest. missing a bit there for some reason um, yeah so we'll finish this field off I'll stick Baldrick in the other one to do um, off screen I think is our best option hopefully as we have another turn in the day we'll get these soybeans moving some degree so that we can get some fertilizer on them. 
this would be really helpful and handy. Um, yeah, and then we will start making plans for the future. Because uh, new, new PC should come this week. Obviously, um, for those of you who watch Down on the Farm, everything for Down on the Farm is on this PC that I'm using at the moment and won't be on the new one. So I've got a lot of backwards and forwards stuff to do. I've got a lot of file transfers to do and things like that. Um, So yeah, we, we, I've, I've got a, a frantic week or so ahead of me, getting things sorted out. For all of that. But it will be fine, it will be fine. Okay, so uh, we're going to finish it there today. I've uh, been a bit uppy-downy, hawky-porky. Just trying to get stuff done, trying to get ready because once we get to the end of this season, as I've said before, we're going to do um, live streaming with this map carrying on. Now, I'm still getting people asking to buy that farm, and but the general vote, let's turn that off a second, the general vote is to have the lockdown farm, which is the one down there, and to be fair, that would be the better one, because this farm here has, uh, Again, it has cows and sheep. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um, and we've got that shed in the middle, which is useless. And can't do anything with it. And, you know, there's no silos or anything in there. I could edit, in, edit it in giants, but I don't feel like I should have to, really. Whereas that one down there would serve us for what we need so I think lockdown is going to be the one that we end up with to be honest but yeah we'll um, we'll cross that bridge as we get closer to it so thanks for watching everybody stay safe and may the weather be with you